Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a tab web browser tutorial on Visual Basic. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different than you normally see. Uh, this one's with the tabs at the top. Um, now if you look at like Google Chrome and, and such browsers like that, Firefox, the tabs are at the top. I'm going to be showing you how to do that today right after this. All right, so to get started, we're gonna to have to create a new form. Um, we're gonna go ahead and create a new project, that is actually. And just, uh, you can name this basically whatever you want. Um, for me right now, I'm just gonna name it the browser, just so I know that it's associated to this tutorial. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, you know, it's not necessary, but I do recommend going over here to the properties and um, you know if you have an icon already set for this you can go ahead and change that um, but you do want to change the name so we're going to go ahead and change that real quick and you of course you can change this at any time and such um, and the next thing you're going to want to do is go up to minimum size let's see here we are minimum size and you're going to want to change that. I like to change this to uh, it gives a nice uh, balance here um, to 10, 24, oh, 7, 68. So that basically gives the minimum size for what this form can be. Um, you know, it's really nice, uh, you know, especially, you know, for, for screen resolutions lower than that, it really shouldn't be used. Um, but, you know, of course you still can. You don't have to put that in there, but it does help out a little bit when it comes to formatting and stuff. So the last thing we're gonna do to get this prepared um, well, one of the last things we're gonna go down here to the very bottom and we're going to uh, This uh, window state we're gonna change that to uh, Maximum or maximize sorry, so you're gonna change that to maximize So there's one last step that you need to do here real quick And that is add a tab control and we're gonna go ahead and go down to the T's and we're going to Maybe <laughs> See your tab. Okay, there we are tab control now you're gonna to wanna to remove the tab. You can do that by just simply clicking in this area here and clicking on it. Now we're gonna dock this to this entire area. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this. Or wait, sorry, we're gonna go over to the properties and you're going to find dock and you're gonna make that fill. So after you've done that, you are going to go up here to project add a windows form and you're going to name this um, well you basically can make, name this whatever but I'm going to name this tab this is basically going to host all the controls and such for this so um, this one we need to do a few things we need to go up to uh, form border style and we need to change that to none okay and we don't really have to do anything with this now you don't have to set a minimum size, but I do recommend setting the size to whatever that previous, uh, that main form is. And if you did the minimum, then it's probably going to be 1024 by 768. And so that's that's what makes it easier. Um, now, you don't want to set the minimum size on this one. Uh, just leave it be. Okay. So the next thing you're going to need to do is you need to add, uh, let's see, are you going to add couple buttons we're going to make these the back and forward buttons here so we're going to go ahead and resize these a little bit you want to get them the same size just bring it below it or you can copy and paste the button too uh, I'm not going to try and make this too perfect but I'm going to make it look presentable so I usually just do those for the back and forward button okay so the next thing we need is a text box. We can go and put that right next to that, those there. We're gonna go ahead and stretch this across here. And we need to add one last button. And this is going to be the go button. Let's see, we're gonna 
We're gonna actually bring this all the way to the end here. Here we are. And we're going to change the name to Go. And then we can bring this right up to it. All right, so after you got that, um, this is actually really simple to do. As you can see, we're creating two forms, but we're actually going to be putting this, these controls right onto that, um, into that tab. And I'll be going over that code here in a minute. So the last thing we need to do is we need to um, add um, a Microsoft web browser. Now, as you can see, there's the web browser. Then there's something called a Microsoft web browser. To get to this, you need to right click anywhere in your toolbox, go down to uh, choose items, and you're going to wait for that to load. After that loads, you're going to go over to the COM tab, um, click on any one of these items, and hit M. And you sh uh, scroll down through here, and you should see something called a Microsoft web browser right there. Um, make sure you're under the com tab and Microsoft web browser should be under there So then you're gonna hit the checkbox over here and hit ok You are going to drag that on Now you're gonna you can position this however you want um, Try and leave a little bit of a border around it So if you are resizing it try and keep a small border around it Does that you can actually bring it up to the edge, but it's a little bit better idea to try and keep a, a small little border around it if you can. This should do good for now. So there's now you um, now you want to make sure that this is all um, anchored, so that way when the form resizes, this all moves and such with it. So to do that, we're going to, I'm going to start with the web browser here. We're going to click on it. We're going to go over here to the properties and find anchor. And this one, you're going to want to make all four of these. Uh, you want to make top, left, right, and bottom all check there by making them gray. And you can tell when they're checked, they're gray. So now we're going to go ahead and go over to the go button. We're just going to go, go in order here. We're going to go over to the go button now. And we're going to, uh, instead of top left, we're going to make that top right. So as you can see, I just uncheck that side and check that side. Now for the text box, you're going to want to make the anchor. You just want to uh, also make it anchor to the right. You're going to want all three of the, uh, the top uh, left and right as well. And these two over here, you do not need to worry about because they're already anchored to that side. So there's nothing that you need to uh, fix or anything there. All right. So. After you got that, let's go and let's code this a little bit. So we're going to go and do the go button here. Um, and this is named a, uh, the web browser is AX Web Browser 1. So we're going to uh, dot navigate. And then you're going to go uh, text box 1 dot text. You want it to navigate to that text. Okay. So after you've done that, let's go and let's do the back and forward button now. So we're going to go ahead and make that AX Web Browser one dot. Um, let's see, let me go go back, go forward. Sorry, uh, go forward. So it's really that simple. Um, and the back button here, we're going to do AX Web Browser one dot go uh, go back. Alright, so after you got that coded, you're going to want to go to, you, you're pretty much done with this form here. That That's really all there is to it. I'll be showing you guys how to, um, I'll be showing you guys how to uh, do bookmarks and such and adding and remove tabs. I may throw that in this one, um, but I'll definitely try and get that one up pretty quick. I'll have an annotation um, at the end of this video. Um, it'll pause the video and then it'll have annotations of all the videos I have up showing you what you can do with this web browser with even other ones so um, look forward to that um, the links will also be down in the description if uh, you're you for some reason can't use it or it's on a mobile device or something like that so now we're going to go back to form one and we're going to double click up here so we can go to the load events you want to make sure you're on the load events of this and again you can get to that just by double clicking the title bar there 
So this is where some more major coding comes in. So one of the things you need to do is you need to dim t as new tab page because you need to create a new tab page in order for all this stuff to go into. The next thing you need to do is you need to create another one of those forms and you can do that. I'm just going to do dim new tab as tab. Okay. Uh, actually, you need to make sure that there's a new there. Okay. So now we got all that out of the way. Now the next thing that we need to do is call this stuff up and basically turn it into turn that form into a tab page. And this is actually really simple. But what you need to do is you need to um, do new tab uh, dot show because it needs to be visible while you're doing this. Um, and then you're going to do uh, t uh, yes t dot controls dot add um, new oops put a new new tab whatever you name that form is what you're going to add the control to. So now we have the now we have the tab and we have the controls in it. Now we need to basically put this into the tab control. So to do that, you're going to do tab control one dot tab pages. Um, let's see what am I missing here. Tab control one dot oh I did tab index that explains it. Tab pages dot add t. So really it is that simple. We're gonna go ahead and debug this now. And it did not work. One second. Alright, so there's one thing I forgot, and this is why it did not work. You need to make sure that top level is false. So in order to do that, you need to do um new tab dot top level dot equals false and this should now work yes there we are as you can see there are some formatting problems and uh basically anchoring and, and such will fix that um i didn't get complete anchoring and such done but if you work on that and go ahead and get that done so we're just going to go ahead and test this out real quick and actually, you know what? I know why. Um, you know, I, anchoring is fine here. Uh, I did forget two things here, and that was that top level. And then you need to also make new tab dot doc uh, equals fill. So doc style fill. So you basically need to make it um, fill um, the whole area, which I did forget couple things there but that's okay so now we can go to google.com as you can see it fills up the whole area and if we go there there you go and the tabs are at the top now <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, well I don't know why I just closed that one I was gonna show you um, if you look up here there is no tab name um, let me go ahead and show you that real quick so you're going to, you're going to double click on this area on the web browser um, under that other form that contains all the controls like the back forward. Click, double click on the web browser and go to the drop down menu. Now you're going to find, let's see here. Now you're going to want to go ahead and scroll down until you find, you're going to want to find navigate complete complete to so you're going to want to go ahead and click that and it's going to add a new thing there and you're going to name and you're going to go ahead and put parent uh, dot text uh, equals uh, a x web browser dot uh, document I believe document uh, let's see here. Name. Uh, location name. 
So basically that's going to put the name of the website up there. So google.com, it should put Google up there. And it does, so as you can see, it puts Google up on that tab, which is pretty cool to see. Um, I'll be showing you also how to get the name up here and later tutorials, I'll be showing you bookmarks and I'll be going over adding and removing tabs. So thank you for watching. Uh, please, if you want um, other tutorials, go and hit the subscribe button up there. I'll, it'll make sure to give you all the latest ones. If this helped you and you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button down there. That'd be really nice. Um, and also go ahead and comment. Um, if you have any questions or problems that you're having, go ahead and give, leave me a comment. Um, just tell me um, any things you'd like to see me add to this and show you how to add to this. That'd be great to see you as well. Um, you know, just give me general comments of what you thought of this. So thank you for watching.